Hi everyone, welcome to another weekly micro report for the DC metro area. This data is as of last Sunday, which was, I'm double checking July 28th, I believe. Yes, July 28th. So this is the data for the DC metro area as of this past Sunday. The DC metro area, as a reminder, does include parts of Maryland as well as DC proper, in addition to um, the close in counties of Virginia. So you can see the map there, uh, which includes all the areas for the DC metro area. The data here basically shows what I am expecting, which is nice. I kind of like it when things are what we expect because that gives me some ability to be somewhat certain about what's happening in the market. And that's my goal with my clients is to be able to help you all understand what's going on in order to make good decisions for yourselves about when's the right time to buy or sell. Um, so let me tell you what we have here. So during the summer months, we tend to have less activity. And so when we look at the week over week data that shows us what's happening this summer. So we have less showings by 15.6% from last week. We have less purchase contracts by 9.4% from last week. We are longer on the market by one day compared to last week and less listings compared to last week by 12.4%. The median list price is down eh, just a touch, basically flat compared to last week. And active listings are up 4.1% no, compared to last week. So normally that wouldn't necessarily happen, but in the current market environment that we are in, that is what we have been seeing. We have been seeing do some decrease in buyer activity and therefore some increase in inventory as a result of less buyers buying. Um, the number of active listings with the price decrease is basically flat week over week and canceled listings are down by 5.7%. That's new, a new data point. So I don't have much to compare it to um, from prior times. We've just started getting that data point. So, and also I'm not 100% confident that the data is being read correctly because we've had such high numbers of canceled listings. And one of my colleagues suggested that it might be, there might be an error in that data. So I'm not spending a lot of time on that. Now, when we look at the year over year data, that tells us a slightly different story. It's not just what's happening now in the market, but compared to last year, how is our market doing? Is our market doing better or worse than last year? And it's doing what, I have been expecting it to do. So um, buyer activity has decreased overall in our area because likely due to the de the increase rather in interest rates and inventory has been increasing and prices continue to increase. So that's kind of the overall summary of what's happening in our market and the year over year data is reflective of that. So we have 19.1% less showings year over year compared to the same time last year. Purchase contracts are down a little bit, not a whole lot, 1.7% year over year. So less buyer activity. Time to go under contract up a little bit longer than before, two days longer than a year ago. And new listing inventory, oh yes. So new listing inventory is down 5.7%, but active listing inventory, which is the fuller picture of inventory is up by almost 40%. That's a big number, up by 38.8%. So even though new listings are down because it's the summer, but I guess year over year, that's interesting that the new listing number is down. That's probably related to the lock-in effect. A lot of sellers are not selling because they're locked into a low interest rate. So that's part of what we're seeing is less new listings, but again, an increase in overall listings because of less buyer activity. Median list price is up year over year by 4.2%. So if you're hearing out there on the street, the prices are coming down because the real estate market is slowing, that is not true. And tell them that is not true. If you want the real information, share my, um, report, my reports with them. Um, the data right here in front of you tells you median list price is up year over year by 4.2%. And in general, in Northern Virginia, we continue to see prices up. And even though there is less, a little less activity, that doesn't mean prices have come down. We still have enough demand for 
and frankly more than enough demand for the amount of supply that we have. Um, and then canceled listings compared to last year up 22.4%. But as I said, I'm not going to focus too much on that until we know if that data point is really accurate or not. So that is your weekly micro report for the DC metro area. Thanks for watching. And if you want more information from a and a wider picture of what's happening nationally from the region and then also down to the hyperlocal, check me out on Facebook. And hopefully this week, I'm also gonna be live on YouTube. I'm working on that. I think this Monday, I will be able to be live on both Facebook and YouTube around one o'clock or go ahead and watch the replay on Facebook or YouTube at my Homes by Mason page in both of those places. And if you ever want to talk about this stuff, reach out to me, 571-210-1866. You can call me or text me. And otherwise, in the meantime, have a great weekend. Take care.